At the end of the last video, we got the following expression for the log likelihood in the situation whereby we were dealing with trying to estimate the population mean and the population variance if we assumed that the population error term was itself normally distributed. And we can actually simplify this a little bit further by noting that the square root of 2 pi sigma squared is just the same as 2 pi times sigma squared all to the power of half. And then we can just use our ordinary log rules here to write this as minus n over 2 times the log of 2 pi. And then if I actually separate the, the 2 pi out from the sigma squared, we're going to have minus n over 2 log 2 pi minus another n over 2 times the log of sigma squared. Note that I could actually take this 2 down in front of the log here using our log rules, but we're actually trying to estimate the population variance rather than the population standard deviation. So I'm just going to leave it as sigma squared. And then the last term just remains the same. So it's just 1 over 2 sigma squared times the sum from i equals 1 to n of xi minus mu all squared. OK, so this log likelihood now is in a position whereby we can start to differentiate it in order to estimate the particular parameters. So the first parameter we're going to talk about estimating is the population mean mu. So in order to estimate the population mean mu, all we need to do is we need to take our log likelihood and differentiate it with respect to the population parameter mu. And if we do that, we note that these terms here don't have any mu in it, so they're just going to disappear. And this second term here, all we're going to get is we're going to get out a minus sign when we differentiate this bracket and the 2 is going to come down in front. And we can actually take the 2 outside of the bracket. So we're just going to have 1 over sigma squared, because the two 2's have cancelled, times the sum from i equals 1 to n of the stuff inside the bracket, which is just going to be xi minus mu without any squared on it, because we differentiate the bracket. And we're going to set that equal to 0. And when we set that equal to zero, that defines the maximum likelihood estimator for the parameter mu, which I'm going to call mu hat. Okay, so how can we use this to derive the estimator for the population parameter mu? Well, we can multiply this whole thing through by sigma squared because that doesn't affect the zero, right? So we're going to have that the sum from i equals 1 to n of xi minus mu is equal to zero where we're summing over both the xi and the mu. And note that because mu itself is without a subscript, we can actually take it outside of the summation. So we're just going to be left with that n times mu is going to be equal to the sum from i equals 1 to n of xi. And note that we've got n times mu because of the fact that we're summing over a, essentially a constant n times. So it's just summing 1 n times, which gives us n. So we're going to have n times mu, and that should be mu hat rather, is equal to xi. In other words, our maximum likelihood estimator for the population parameter mu, mu is just 1 over n times the sum of i equals 1 to n of xi. In other words, the sample mean. So the maximum likelihood estimator for the population parameter mu turns out, in fact, just to be the ordinary sample mean.